Hey everybody, Allison here. And in this video, I am going to talk about a little bit of an introduction on how to use the Tastyworks platform. Uh, so as you can see here on my screen right now, it's pulled up to the website. And of course on the website, that's where you can, you know, deposit and withdraw money from your accounts. That's where you can go through all the different accounts. That's where you can get the tax information, customer support, right? They have a great chat customer support that you can go to. Um, and then you'll see here on the very side where it says trading platform. And if you click that, it opens up typically a new tab or a new window and it pulls up the trading platform specifically for the website. And I would personally <laughs> recommend not using that um, and instead using the downloaded desktop application. I think, first of all, it's so much cleaner and easier to use typically on trading platforms, right? If they have a desktop application to be able to download it. Um, and Tastyworks is certainly the case for that too. So I wanted to just do a quick overview of the Tastyworks downloaded platform here now. So in here, you can certainly access any different account that you have currently. I have mine open to my day trading account. Um, if I wanted to, I could view all my accounts. I could view two of my accounts, right? All just by highlighting on which one I wanna click. Um, I'm not showing that right now because I'm not trying to show you guys my account numbers. So sorry guys, don't wanna, you know, wanna keep it a little private. Um, in that case, but as you can see here, this is my day trading account um, for any of my day trading folks over at Simpler Trading, right? You recognize this. And right now, all we currently have open is our QCOM trade. And when you expand on it, right, on your positions page, you'll see all the different positions that you have. Usually it's sorted by symbol. It tells you how much overall risk you typically have in the trade, where that trade is currently trading now, right, in the current market environment. Um, and then you, of course, can pick and choose what columns you have. I have the profit and loss for the day as well as open, right? I have it kind of visually over here too. Um, and then you can see what it is as well when you expand for that symbol, you can see what it is for each individual strike, right? What is the mark for that? Now, this is a profit recycled trade. So it's a standard butterfly currently, but we've locked this in for a 50 cent profit. So we have no capital risk. Um, <laughs> the market, as I am recording this video, is currently selling off, um, certainly is going down to longer term support levels, and it's taking things with it like QCOM. So this is nowhere near where we were trading at it before. Right before we were trading to the call side and we were able to lock in a profit and then QCOM just decided to reverse down on us, um, which is okay for us, right? We locked in the profit, so we're good to go. Uh, but it's certainly not going to get that bonus profit that I was looking for probably by tomorrow unless you know QCOM decides to really just jump to the upside. But I can view all that, right? I can do this analysis work, if you will, because I am looking at the positions page and if I just wanna minimize it, right? It disappeared, it's a little known bug currently on Tastyworks, I know they're fixing the issue. I have found just modifying the window size easily fixes it, right? So when I minimize that, you can see here, it's just showing the symbol itself and showing the overall risk in it, which I don't have any, so it's a nice green credit. It's showing the mark on that trade and it's showing, you know, how much profit, if you will, we have locked in since the open of the trade and how it did for the day. The next tab to the downside that you'll see here is the trade tab. And this, um, you know, currently for me, of course, is set up for the options chain. Now you can look at a few different things, right? There's the curve and the analysis kind of stuff, the activity going on. Um, for myself, right, there's also the crypto side of things. I guess I don't do crypto on Tasty personally right now. Um, but let's just stick with the option chain, right? <laughs> we'll stick with this for right now. So in the option chain, what I love about Tastyworks is that you can, it's so easy to use. Out of all the trading platforms I have been with in the brokerage accounts and, you know, between just, you know, going to a new one versus it being bought out by somebody, right? I feel like I've lived through so many of them. <laughs> and Tastyworks is by far the easiest 
to use. I think it's the most user friendly and simplest um, one to use specifically for the option chain, right? S especially for the option chain, because not only can you do it like, you know, other platforms where you kind of plug in the strategy here, click go, and then it gives you the strikes typically, right? The two closest at the money uh, for whatever strategy it is. But you can also just click on the individual strike, right? There's no shortcut that I need to press on my keyboard or anything like that. I can just literally say up, I wanna buy the 165. So I go to the ask column, click on that and boom, it's pulled up, right? Let's say I wanted to make a vertical, go to the bid and now we're set up there. Let's say I wanna modify this, right? Whether I did it like through the go sign here or whether I plugged in the legs myself, I can easily just click and hold that strike and drag it wherever I need to. If I individually highlight on that strike, then I can modify specifically just that one, right? So if I'm making something like a butterfly where I need a one to one contract ratio, then I have that here. So everything's good to go. If I need to delete a leg, I can just right click it automatically gives me that delete. Um, and so I like this right down here, of course, if you wanted to check, you know, one expiration to the next, it makes it really easy to be able to use, right? Then you have the order type if you want to do a good till cancel or whatever around it. Um, and then you can review and then send it out. So love how easy this is to use. And just like right with the positions page, you can change this to whatever you want. Um, one way you can also get there is by going to the little wheel icon, right? You can do that for your accounts and what you're seeing there. You can flip over to the trade tab, right? And then from there, you can decide what columns you want on the option chain. So, you know, keep that in mind. If I wanted to buy shares, I can just come up to the top, click that, and it sets me up automatically with 100 shares. And then I can adjust that however I need to. Um, but it's very user friendly in that case. Um, after the trade is the activity tab. As you can see here, I didn't put on any trades for today, so there's nothing showing. Um, but I can show working, filled, canceled, all just by the quick, easy use of hitting that tab. I can filter this, you know, and go back as far as I need to, or I can just keep it to today. Um, and then, of course, there are a few other things here like watch lists that you can create. Uh, the chart is another thing, right? So if you don't really have a charting platform, I, of course, am a technical trader. So I am all about <laughs> using my charts. But Tastyworks, they're start starting to build up their charting platform. And it's very nice because now I have, you know, if one of my charting platforms is down, I have due to technical issues or whatever, I have another one that I can go to and still keep an eye on my trades or still take trades, right, based off entries. Um, but up here, you can easily zoom in and out they automatically kind of give you that space here so that's nice we have the indicators themselves that you can click on you can easily choose those by clicking the indicator tab and then pulling what you need to so i of course have my bollinger bands right my simple moving averages um the divergent bar the awesome oscillator the compound breakout tool and i have those all set up here and then i can also right just click so let's say i really want to take a look at the compound breakout tool right now i can just you know, make that a bit bigger, all once again, by just clicking and dragging things where I need to. Um, and then if I want to zoom in, if I need to scroll, I'm still able to do that and get that closer picture point of view if I want. Um, or if I want that bigger picture, broader range, I have that. And of course, I have the different time frames I can go through here as well. And this tab here, guys, you can easily minimize that. I <laughs> just had it open but if you're like Allison this is really annoying over here you have that flexibility right but if you want exactly like where is the temp period simple here instead of trying to hover my mouse over it I can literally look to the side and it tells me oh okay on December 20th I know my temp period simple was at 167 on QCOM I know the 30 period simple was at 146 all by just looking at these numbers over here so that is kind of nice about that um, and then, of course, you can go back and look at your history, right? You can do a lot of things on here. Tasty Trade, of course, has their own stuff that you can look at as well. Um, and then we have the watch list and everything else. So that 
is just a quick overview. Um, the last thing I want to point out, because I like to use this, is um, on the watch list, right? You can have your own watch list that you've set up or they have some for you. I personally like the high options volume, especially as more an intraday trader, because I can look at this and know which ones are getting traded heavily, but I can also go through and say, okay, what's bullish right now? right? Not much is bullish. If anything, it's very, <laughs> very small gains to the upside. Um, and then that at least have high volume currently. I can see what's kind of in the middle, right? Or I can say what has the biggest amount of change to the downside. You can see here, right? Today was definitely a sell day as all of these numbers have big, big downsides to them. Um, and you can see, right, which ones those were. So I like looking at that because if things are really starting to move at the open, that's one way you can kind of keep a quick eye on it through Tastyworks rather than trying to keep an eye on all these different charts setting up at the same time and, you know, missing one thing because you're looking at a different chart. So I hope this video was helpful to some of you guys, if not all of you, and at least starting to introduce you to the Tastyworks platform. If not, maybe answering some of your questions about some of the things that you can use on it, like the options chain, your positions page, um, your activity, and all that other stuff, the charts. So thank you for joining me in this video. I hope you have a great rest of your trading day. As always, may the trade be with you, and I look forward to talking to you next time. Bye. Hey, Allison Ostrander here, Director of Risk Tolerance at Simpler Trading. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and comment down below to help us out. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you can get notified when we release our next video. And if you want to watch us trade in real time using our own money, go to simplertrading.com to learn how to sign up. As always, may the trade be with you, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.